All right. So uh, this is going to be a Sagittarius Sun Moon Iron as well uh, Sagittarius Rising. Weekly general tarot reading February uh, 24th to March 1st, 2020. And in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below. And uh, there you're going to find a link to my website from which uh, you can purchase such. So that being said, moving in straight away to the reading itself. Um, the first card which stands as the topic of your week, guys, is going to be the uh, Knight of Wands, followed by the next one here, which is going to be the energies that are feeding and supporting the topic. Uh, we do have the Five of Wands. Standing next is going to be the challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the week. That is to be the Knight of Cups. Then we do have the gifts and the blessings uh, that you can enjoy throughout the week. That is going to be the Seven of Cups. Uh, standing next, it is what kind of impression people are going to see in you and what kind of a standpoint you're going to show in front of people. We do have the Eight of Swords. And the last one here, which is uh, the uh, Devil card, it is the guidance uh, that uh, Taro is offering to you. So to me, this reading is all about choose, choosing in between two people. Okay, and uh, we do have a little bit of a con uh, conflict of interests, if you will. A very dangerous one. If you are in a marriage relationship, uh, and it's in generally the, the relationship and the marriage you're in are, how can I say, it's a very stable at that point. Uh, this is because... Uh, we do, we do have uh, those, I'm sorry guys, just let me take off the sound of my computer. Okay, so uh, this is because of those two cards here that we do have. So what, what, we, what the energies are pointing is that there are going to be a sudden surprise in your environment. And that surprise comes in the face of the Knights of Wands, which is a person, a very enterprising person, someone who is simply kind of like makes you thrilled, right? It makes you kind of like enthusiastic and uh, it's um, it's quite uplifting to spend time with this one. So they, they, there will be a lot of passion in between you and that person that steps in, that comes around, okay? Uh, the problem is, it is that they are not very consistent in, in the sense of that the Knights of uh, Wands, they only chase their own personal interests. So this week they find you interesting, but we don't know how they're going to find you next week or the next day and etc, etc. And uh, these uh, energies of the Five of Wands, they are also very, very unstable energies in the sense of that there are uh, there are to be a lot of around turns into into the week itself don't get me wrong those are a fantastic energies that is going to help you to kind of like get the upper hand of situations that you're having your back against the wall and etc etc but as well they can deteriorate out of nowhere a, a, a current situations which are going pretty pretty well so just to give you an example here say you are in a pretty good relationship and suddenly someone starts texting you with all these messages that are putting a smile on your face and you're kind of feeling thrilled to chat with this person nothing yet is happening in between the two but your partner seeing how happy you are chatting with this person say you are a, say you are a woman and your boyfriend sees who that is it sees that it's another male and boom we do have conflict there right so you have to what i'm trying to say here from you sagittarius for you sagittarius is that you have to be very careful how much how uh, how big gap you are making when you are leaving the door open for new people to come into your life because this week especially this week someone is going to overstay their welcome there and not just your welcome but the welcome of of your current partnership and it doesn't have to be only a, a a romantic partnership that you can jeopardize going for that third party here or allowing this third party to basically play around and do whatever they like uh, that could be as well a business partnership that can be threatened right so someone comes around with another idea that does not have much of a, a background does not have much of a, a 
a, 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 a foundation, if you will, and yet it sounds very interesting and you are not, and kind of like you are showing that you're more interested into the idea than into sprawling your current well-established business. So what we do have here for you, Sagittarius, it is that someone comes around and wreak havoc into your well-established environment at that particular point, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. And in a very small cases for you guys, this is actually going to be a good thing, especially if say you have just recently went through a prayer of breakup, right? And uh, now this person comes around very enterprising, very funny, handsome as well, because these people are quite handsome. They show interest in you. And that is one way how you can kill fire with fire. So this is where the five of wands, uh, it's expressed like a uh, that uh, you are reversing the situation from a failure into a success. But nonetheless, if your life is, is as stable as possible right now, you shouldn't allow this person to do whatever they like because that is their charisma. They really uh, kind of like bewitch you in a such way that you allow them to do whatever they, whatever they, they want. Okay and they can just get away with it. And the worst possible thing here is that you can go creating affairs, right? I, I kind of like uh, working surreptitiously with someone behind the back of your business partner and etc etc so uh it's a pretty dangerous week for you once again and uh, it's just that someone can exploit your kindness and your resources without you even knowing it and you are going to be happy for the opportunity that person to do it so uh, unco uh, subconsciously that um, uh, that being said so what is going to be the challenge here uh, we do have the knight of cups and that is the other individual the one that stands firmly beside you or behind you or whatever and the challenge is to be with this, to, to stick with them now you got to understand what is the difference in between these two okay so this one promises very fast success but it's very unreliable right while this one here the success that it promises or that it is seen that can be achieved it's very slowly progressing it's it's almost with a a paste of a turtle but in the same time they are very reliable nonetheless uh, these people that are uh, marked by the um, knights of cups and they are associated with you. They are associated with you because they find you as a dream of their heart and for no other reason whatsoever. Not to mention that they are as well determined to fight for what they find as a dream of their heart. Because for the Knights of Cups, nothing comes for free. They, they have to work for it. So they are kind of determined. This person is determined to work for your relationship, to work for your business, to work for your friendships, as, friendship as well. While the Knights of Wands, when they see that it's very tough, when they see obstacles, they kind of waver. They 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 bail out because they don't find it interesting anymore, and they go into something much more easier than that. Right? For for example, another affair. So that is uh, that is the, the the tough thing here in the week for you, Sagittarius, not to place your trust where the trust can be betrayed and you can spot that person by seeing how scampering the person it is you know not focusing on one thing at the time the the knights of wands they do many things at, at, at once and usually they're not good at neither of them so next one here it is the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week that is the gift and the blessing of the um seven of cups and that is actually a savior here for you because the seven of cups points that whatever you do throughout this week even if it goes to that extreme that you cheat on your wife or your husband you know or you kind of do something um to the business with your business partner that your business partner hates seeing okay the Seven of Cups gifts you with the blessing not to destroy everything around. So you are going to be given a, a second chance because this is what the Seven of Cups about a blessing is. Even though you do something very wrong, the best result or the worst result of it is going to be a disappointment that is going to bounce you back into the uh, into the starting point where you can do this thing. Uh, you, you can do the things this time around the right way. So it is like a, um, 
the worst thing that you can do here is waste of time and as well kind of like suffering some um how can i say it a, a collateral negative consequences of of your actions but your actions are not going to ruin your relationship and not going to ruin your business not going to ruin your uh, your marriage but they can put a heavy strain on them as well so just because you are safe of ultimate destruction here it doesn't mean that you can do whatever you like all right so there will be consequences it just is not going to be as severe as they should be so just to give you an example here you give yourself to the temptation okay you you kind of like you can't resist this person and you lay together you you kind of like uh, you cheat on your partner your partner your partner finds out and instead of throwing you away they will find the strength to forgive you but they will hold you accountable for that okay that thing is going to be shoved in your face for the next couple of years for example so you don't want to suffer through these consequences negative although they are not going to be as negative as they should be in case you go here and give yourself to the celluloid statements you know and, and enterprising actions of the knight of wands next it is how people are going to see you and there is only one way how this card can be uh, interpreted here blind for the truth is basically what the card points uh it's like uh once again uh, this refers to the enterprising nature of the knights of cups and how much you are allowing that person to kind of like do whatever they like in your life okay for example they start flirting with you and you are allowing that to happen even if you see that your partner it's not very happy with it okay but you still don't see anything wrong with it there is wrong with it so it's it's kind of like people are going to see you blind for the truth but this is just how they see you once again it doesn't mean that you cannot wake up and the seven the, the eight of swords it always states that if the truth makes you free then what the denial of it makes you as well right so this card here points that despite of what everybody around is kind of like being reposed by your actions in regards to the knight of wands you will have to uh, how can i place it you know you can basically uh wake up uh, and find out what is substantial for you okay so the substantial thing it is not a one night stand but a relationship the substantial thing it is not a, a one time uh monetary success but a, a contiguous monetary success right so uh the last one here that we do have for you sagittarius is going to be the devil card now this is the guidance the tower is offering and devil points here that you do have the strength to do whatever you like okay so you want to go for this third party go for it you want to go for uh, the uh for the current relationship go for it but the devil here as a guidance it's uh, it goes even deeper than that it kind of asks to you to recognize your primal instincts and what these primal instincts and these primal urges are dragging you to or they are demanding from you because having them uh, it's it's kind of difficult to describe but primal instinct could be to just give yourself to this knight of wands right but your hunger it may be for solid relationship so you have to differentiate from both for for both and uh, or from both and just you know try to kind of like uh, um feed that hunger you have hungry for money hungry for love hungry for a relationship and etc etc and you have to kind of spot it and do it as best as you can so that's why the week is going to be quite tough for you guys because um a long story short here while you do have a peaceful life either career relationship life or either both and you are quite happy uh, in these fields, someone else comes around and promises you even more for no time. And truth be told, you will be a fool if you believe to that. So that being said, uh, this was uh, your general uh, weekly tarot reading, Sagittarius, February 24th to March 1st, 2020. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh, if you're interested once again in a personal reading with me you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website 
from which you can schedule such. Uh, hopefully we're going to see each other around and until then, bye.